Hey everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and today I uh, I'm going to show you how to do a um, kind of a wallet fold uh, accordion uh, book or concertina book, uh, and this is the basic structure. This is a one-page book. Uh, which is really, really cool. And I have been taking a uh, book arts class with uh, Christy Cunain, or uh, and uh, here in Maine, and she it, she showed us this. I thought that I had done all the one page books out there. Nah, not so much. Uh, this was really, really cool, and there are several adaptations of this. So let's go through this. So um, I'm going to fold this down. So this is a larger piece of paper. Uh, this was an 11 by 17, but I'm going to show you a, a few others on... Um, uh, so I'm going to walk through it and then I'll show you some others. Uh, so this is an eight and a half by 11. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on, uh, you're going to fold it hot dog. Okay. Long ways, hot dog and then Hamburg. So you're going to open it back up and you're going to fold it, uh, this way like this. Okay, then you're going to fold it down. And I'm not super creasing these uh, because when I make the wallet fold, um, I want it to, um, I want it to go around the paper. This is just a sample. So I'm doing this on eight and a half by 11 photocopy paper so that I have a model. Uh, that was one of the things that Christy told us uh, that was really, um, really super helpful is to make a model. Uh, one of our other uh, gals in my art and journaling class, uh, Emmy Nelson from Pennsylvania, she uh, she does a lot of her samples um, and her models uh, just using magazine paper or whatever because it's there and it's easy and quick and you're not using um, you know a piece of good paper for just making a model, uh, but it's a great way to do that. So I have gone ahead now. I have eight pieces. Okay, one page. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Let me get my ruler that I just undid. Here we go. Here's my ruler. And I have an X-Acto knife so that I can cut this um, straight. You could do this. Uh, I'm, this is your model. So you could literally do it on scissors. And it's not going to be super accurate. But I'm going to come in one to that uh, intersection there. And I'm going to go down one, two, three. Okay. So... Now my fold looks like this, okay? So this is the bottom of my book and this is the top. Uh, and to make this uh, concertina, I'm going to fold this over, fold this over. Now I am going to crease them, okay? Now I want those creased really nicely. I'm gonna fold this one down, okay? I'm going to fold this one down into my book, crease it nicely, okay, then, okay, there I have my first, uh, my first accordion right there, and it's, um, I'm calling it a, walk it a wallet fold, but it's kind of a pocket fold or whatever. There are lots of ways to do it, uh, so this is your first adaptation or your first part, uh, and then to make the wallet part, you fold this over and you're going to wrap it. So the folds change a little bit because of the thickness of the paper. Now, if you're doing this as your final book, you, pr you, you could measure. 
um, and you may want to, to measure so that it um, comes out really smooth. But uh, you can see that it is a little bit shorter when I wrap because each time I wrap it, I lose a little bit of space. So this is where it comes in and I'm just doing this really quick as a sample. This is not perfect. I'm not measuring anything. I would when I do my final. And I may even take a little bit more off that, like that. Okay, so that you can really see that. All right, so now, now I'm going to show you an, a couple of adaptations of that. So this one, I have added a button, um, a button wrap to, or a button fastener to hold this. And the button fastener is just a couple of circles around the string with a smaller circle in the center so that I can, uh, I can wrap it uh, and wind it around. So I've gone ahead and done this. And this one is a cascading fold. Okay, so this is a cascade so that you can see the um, portions of it. And you have, and it cascades down. Okay, so there it is. And what I've done is cut and then cut up a little higher and then cut up a little higher so that when it stands up, that's the thing that was so cool about this and that I really liked about this one page book fold is that you get this wallet or this wrap and you get this really cool um, accordion that you can do a whole bunch with. So this one cascades into it. Uh, and then I'm going to show you another one. Uh, let's see this one, uh, that cascades. So here you can add, this is bigger. So I'm just going to show you this. I just did this really quick, just so that I had a model for myself, add a fastener. Uh, this one, you could draw a picture or add a pocket. Um, can write a story here. Um, and then you can see really quickly, I just, added, um, I just added some, uh, illustrations that I printed off. They are not my illustrations. They're just illustrations that I printed offline. Uh, and, uh, it was really cool, but I just wanted everyone to be able to see that you can create a picture, um, with it. And then you can still add, text and journaling and pockets, uh, additional pockets, uh, etc. Uh, right into it. You could, so here is the extra that I cut off from this. Okay, so here's the extra. And I could even add this right in. I could glue this right back into the book and have myself an additional um, uh, cascade in my book. So, so many possibilities and so many adaptations of this basic one page fold. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another one. So that was the, uh, cascading fold wrapped into it. Uh, then we have, oh, oh and I want, <clears throat> Um, so this is an accordion tunnel book. Uh, so this one is, I've got a picture. I'm going to show you this a little bit closer. Okay. So this one, I've got a picture. I've got a little poem. This is, uh, for the first. And then my cascade is, I mean, my, um, my tunnel is right here. And I just whipped this out just really quick. It's just some watercolors. But I wanted to see what I needed to do. And I'm going to tip this so that you can see this. To be able to create 
the accordion and the tunnel uh, and which way I had to face things. Um, so this is my model. This is one that I may end up making into a final book uh, by recreating it. But this is basic model uh, so that I know which direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to toss that one up there and I'm going to show you when you are planning this one out, all right, with the tunnel, what you need to do and where you need to put your pieces. So, uh, on the accordion portion, this is one, this is side two, then you flip the whole thing, three, flip the whole thing again, and four. So when I open this up, page two and four are on this side, and page one and three are are on this side. And that is how you have to cut your tunnel so that your tunnel uh, is facing in the right direction. Your picture is facing in the right direction so that you can see it as it goes through. Okay, so as you can see it. So here's the one, here's the two, here's the three, and then here's the four, okay? So, I hope you guys try this. I love this fold. Thank you so much to Christy Kunan um, for sharing this incredible fold, and I love it. So, you've got a, um, a cascading fold, you have a straight fold, and you have a tunnel fold, all using this same exact one-page book fold and cut. Happy creating. Hope you try this. Uh, comment, like, subscribe for more fun things like this. Thanks. Bye.